he that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. You can't just hear some of it, right? You can't just hear some of it and, and recite it. You gotta believe it. When you believe on it, you act on it, right? You don't just speak about it, you walk in it. That's right. You, you hear the commandments and you walk ye in them, right? That's saying the Bible, right? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. If the Most High God sent our enemies against us to serve in hunger and thirst for not doing right, what the hell makes you think we're going to get out from under Mass's foot by doing it wrong? I mean, let's just be frank. We can talk all day about how the woman is simple. We can talk all day about how the heathens don't know a damn thing. But to those of us that know the Bible and, and, and choose to be stupid, stupid, the definition being to know better and not do better. Those of us that choose to be stupid, how much worse off are we? Those of us that want to prolong this captivity, how you doing? Man? You mind if we ask you a couple questions? You know you've got a little time? What's your nationality? Man? Like American? Come a little closer. Come closer, brother. Come closer, please. And it's okay to speak up. You be here crying out. You know what the word church means? Yeah. It means to cry out. Is there anything that you can think of to cry out about? You see the condition that we are in from day to day? People walking around with their pants hanging off their ass. Drugged out of their minds. We pimping our moms. Selling each other crack, right? Killing each other. Don't you feel like there's something wrong with that? You know what the scriptures say? Thou shalt not murder, right? Thou shalt not kill. That's one of God's commandments. You black on your father's side? All praises. Those were commandments given directly to us. The children of Israel. And you happen to be from the head tribe. Judah. We have an example to set up. I see you got, a, you got a rather calm spirit on you. You're just trying to keep your head above it, don't let you. Tell me, how do you feel about it? Yeah. Give me an impression of Seattle when it comes to righteousness versus wickedness. Is this a righteous place? Is this a righteous place? No. That's right, it's not a righteous place. What's, what's unrighteous about it? Scriptures say that when the wicked are in power, the people rule. But when the righteous are in power, the people rejoice. What we have to do to get back in power is we have to start keeping the commandments of God. Do you believe in the Bible? Beautiful. You are a Christian or just a believer? All praise and God. Get his brother a hand for not being a damn Christian. See, the Christian church actually teaches us to hate each other. I came up in the Christian church. I was taught that if I wasn't sitting in the front of the church with a tie on, I would nothing. You ever experienced anything like that in the world? That's right. Because there's wickedness in that church. There's wickedness ruling it. Uh, that's a... That's a... Who? Uh, we can run power. That's a... So what it's time for us to do is come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. And, uh, you know any of the commandments? Let me hear a couple of them. It's okay to talk about All praises. He said, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt love thy neighbor. And I said, steal it. You know why you have that spirit? Because you are a child of God. That's right. That's right. We need more children of God up here with us. Ah. Keeping the commandments and presenting themselves a living sacrifice. Can somebody get a flyer ready for them? Uh, Baba Kusha. So brother, when we're teaching our brothers and sisters, the so-called blacks, 
the so-called Hispanics and the so-called Native Americans and teaching them that we are the children of God and that we have to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments in order to seek salvation. You ever heard the term salvation before? You ever heard the term salvation? Jesus Christ, right? He came only for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's, That's right. the only way he's going to come down here and save us is if we start to do what we're supposed to do. Right. right. So, if we don't, we're going to see curses. We're going to see curses. I'm going to hear these curses. Right. 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 So, we got certain curses on us. Like, we can't buy what we want to buy. You can't walk up and down the street the way you want to walk up and down the street. You're free to pick it some of those curses. So we can't, we can't raise our kids up, right? Not the way we want to. Now we have to, we have to teach them that it's okay for a grown man to go in the bathroom with our daughters. We got to teach them that it's okay for a man to dress up like a woman and they have to be accepted of it. That they have no right to be confused by it. That there's no gender role. So we can't teach them how to be the men and the women that they're supposed to be. Tell them all. Right? And indirectly, we teach them it's okay for us to kill each other off. Listen to this curse right here. This is the Bible telling us thousands of years before it started to happen to us that it was going to happen for disobeying. Right? Go ahead. This is Deuteronomy. <laughs> Chapter 28, verse 49. Bring it out, Ark. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from afar. A nation was brought against us from afar. A big example is what happened to the so-called natives and the Hispanics, right? A nation came against them from afar. They were over here. At peace, living in a paradise, right? You ever heard about what Columbus did to these islands? Just killed everybody off the rain. That was something that the Bible told us was going to happen. From the end of the earth, end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flying, it's faster than the eagle swoop. It's, it's flew over here and swooped, right? Like he was a predator after some prey. Who, who has the eagle as a as a symbol? Now, what do you, what do you know about how we got here? Again. So and he wasn't going to see the old Egypt again. Right? And there 
Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. When we got here, we began to be sold to our enemies. Not little buddies, not people that were one day gonna put, take the chains off of us and give us equal rights, right? But the people that were still gonna consider us three-fifths of a human being and treat us as such. But you forgot about that, black man. The scripture says, Right. That Judah is a lion's well and that he would crouch down and that he would become complacent because he's in the neck of his enemies where it's nice and comfy. Right? Comfy in the neck of his enemies, cradled up under that titty. And we keep going into This is Deuteronomy 28 48. Hey, hey, we gotta stop beefing with our brothers. We gotta stop beefing with our sisters. It's time to get it right. There's only too much time left. Ah, therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. We're gonna keep serving our enemies in hunger and in nakedness. And in thirst, and in nakedness. And in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So we didn't believe that we got brought over here on the ships up to the point where a yoke of iron got placed around our necks, and we probably still were in the state of this day. But now, by now, it's got to start to sink in that those chains, those shackles, they're not gone yet. They're not off of our necks. They got spiritual shackles on us then. Because we can't just stop being perfect slaves, right? Oh. Keep reading that out. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from afar and from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle flyeth. This is chapter 28. Verse 33, the book of Deuteronomy. The fruit of thy land and all thy labor shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. So we're not in our own land of bastards dwelling in Ashdod. Um, they're, they're eating up our resources. They're having the biggest gay parades on our holy land. Um, we're suffering that curse. That's one down. You can't, you can't own a damn house. You can't own land, you gotta pay taxes for land that your brothers used to own. Right, where the scripture said we would be entreated and we would be allowed to dwell safely. We can't do that. We're both experiencing that. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. We're all being oppressed and crushed always, right? Ephraim and Judah, oppressed together. Oppressed and crushed always. Let's get down to 36. Verse 36. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. We came to a nation that our fathers didn't know. To do what? And there shalt thou serve other gods. Serve other gods, right? Wood. Or what? Wood and stone. The cross. The cobblestone. Repeat it. You hear what he said? Wood and stone. Wood and stone. We're serving, we're serving idols that can't do anything for us. And in doing that, we're removing ourselves from power, wandering out of the way of understanding into the congregation of the dead. You're dead men walking up and down this street thinking that you know something with that white man around your neck, with that cross around your neck. What are you really doing? You're looking like a damn fool. You don't know any commandments, but you got a cross on you, mocking the Hamas got the outside that died for you. So you can keep doing this simple shit that you're doing. Somebody. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb. So, and a byword. Now we're astonishment. A proverb and a byword, right? Don't you think that instead of referring to each other as those proverbs and bywords, that we should be instead lifting each other up and removing removing those views of each other from our brains? Sure. 
trying to make a point to remind each other that we're actually Issacharites, Zebulonites, right. Asherites, Judah. Judites, Levites. Huh? Don't you think it's high time that we're Benjamites now? That's right. Not just little Jamaicans, not just little niggas, not calling each other shit like spits. Don't you think it's time that we come up out of that? Keep going, huh? Among all nations. Among